St. John Ambulance has been attending to emergency calls and patient transfer for the last 58 years in the country. Tomorrow we'll see all its services temporarily stop. In an interview with St. John's Chief Commissioner Andrew Kalai, he spoke of the financial challenges St. John faces. Since the beginning of this year, we have been uh, having funding difficulties. Temporarily cease operations until funding is uh, brought in. The delay in an approval of a MOU has also burdened St. John's operations. Mr. Kalai says the government has responded to the budget but has come short to support all its operations. We have been operating at less than 50% of what we budgeted to get. Even though we have received less than half the money that we budgeted for, we have continued to provide the services that we are tasked to provide. St. John responds to over 300 emergency calls a day in Port Mosby. Mr. Kalai says the public will now seek these services through other means. Generated other means means a taxi, PMV or a private vehicle is for everybody to decide. What St. John does is carry out a lot of functions that are normally carried out by state ambulance services in other Commonwealth countries. For Adding on to these problems, fuel shortage has also hit hard on the organization. Jack Lepave, Jr., National MTV News.